In this video, you're going to see some of our ups and some of our downs from having a water main break, having to close a store down due to that, and having to send our customers from one location to the next. Thankfully, we did have other locations they can go to. With the laundry card, it was very easily. We we're able to load up funds on that card and comp their wash and dry and give them extra for their next time coming in for the inconvenience. Uh, you also see uh, the ups we've had. As you can see, uh, we've gotten many additional new clients, large orders. So just another day in the life at Splash Them Out. For those of you that may not be in to doing wash draw fold pickup yet or for those of you that are currently doing this ask yourself would you rather do commercial or would you rather do residential now in this particular case this was a larger order than most residential pickups you'll see both of these entire bins was from one client most of the time however you might get two to four of these size bags per commercial client, maybe sometimes with the comforter. So you really have to think to yourself, what do I want to go for? Do I want to go for residential? Do I want to go for commercial? Or do I want to go for both? Some things to consider when you're making that decision, you really need to consider the room you have for storage. If you don't have room for 30,000 pounds of laundry per order, you might want to consider doing smaller commercial accounts and residential accounts. So that's just food for thought. When you take this laundry to a laundromat, if you don't have a lot of storage, you can't do this. The problem is though, this is only half of what we picked up today. This is only half. We have a lot more in the, back there. I mean, our box truck is completely full of linens. So with that being said, when if you have a situation to where you have a huge order and you're in a laundromat, this is why we have the warehouse because it cannot sustain. And so we had no choice but to get the warehouse. People ask me, well, why would you go get a warehouse when you're not really, we started to overwhelm the staff and our customers at the laundromats. But now, now take a look. When you really try to go out and get the big clients, the big the big commercial clients like we've done, this is what's happening. So now we're overwhelmed with a lot of good laundry. So it's not, but we're not overwhelmed because we're in the warehouse facility. But if we were in the laundromat, we would be so overwhelmed, it would be sickening. And, and we wouldn't know where to begin. Veronica is here late today. We had a full team of about eight people earlier, but she's just- yeah, Veronica gets lunch this week. Well, she gets lunch every week. Right. She eat every day. Yeah. Free water, and free lunch, lunch everything. Yeah. So it's all good. Pizza, 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 <laughs> pizza, pizza. Yeah. But whatever you want. Yeah. Go on. Go through. All right. Well, but that's about it. So one good thing is that we have the Fotex machine because can you imagine have to fold all these towels? So, so what we try to say is, sure, we could have a team of people folding towels, but Veronica, how do you like using the Fotex machine doing the towels? So you can do it really fast. Fast, yeah. fast. It's more fast than the machine for the hour. Uh, oh yeah, so you like it, you like the Yeah, Fotex. I like the machine. Oh yeah, would you rather fold them by hand? Yes. You, no, would you rather fold them by hand? Mm, yes, there is no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> Terrible interview. So we're at the end of our day, our processing day. Um, we still have a boatload to process, still some in the truck, still some in the back. In addition, we've got about a half of a uh, box truck we still have to pick up from the same customer. Thankfully, we do have the Foltex. If we only had our ironer, we would have already busted most of this out, if not all of it, but it is what it is. We're at one of our locations here in Lexington and unbeknownst to us, another tenant in the shopping center was doing some, un apparently some unauthorized work per the landlord. 
So they busted the main line to the entire shopping center. So in here we have some customers' clothes uh, stuck in the washers. Uh, we've taken their name and phone number. Of course, we'll comp that. We'll redo it, dry it, and fold it for them at no cost. Once that comes on, you do take the chance of water sediment coming back through your line. So it's real important that our tenants or our management staff, once it comes back on, let the water run to get the water clear so that hopefully we won't have any problems. So let's go in and, and see what's happening. You'll see uh, we, we normally don't like handwritten notes, but in this type of case, it is an emergency. So we do have a note that says we have no water. Uh, sorry for your inconvenience. Well, here we are. You can see customers' items are stuck in these washers. We've got some in the back. Now, this store is normally pretty busy. It's one of our smaller to mid side stores. So normally you see people all around here uh, you can see we have no water, so you see the code coming up EFL. Some customers were so nice and some customers were not so nice. So here's Melanie. She's the one that actually got the blunt of, of the customers. <laughs> were cu some customers nice, some customers were not so nice. Yeah. Um, I, first I called you and then I let them know that we will contact them as soon as we can uh, when the water gets back on. Um, they were pretty understanding about it um, and they left, said that they would come back and get their clothes. We've had this happen uh, just a couple of times where due to power outages uh, a few times, but the actual water break, this is the second time, once in this location and once on our Reynolds Road location. So what you want to do in that case, you want to make the customers uh, want to come back Hopefully they realize it's no fault of ours. So when they come back, we'll start the washers for them, start the dryers for them. And if you want to call me directly, I actually am going to put some additional funds on their loyalty card for them okay. so that that'll make them, because I know it's an inconvenience in their time and I know it wasn't our fault, but still we want to make them happy. The shopping center will not reimburse, will not compensate. It's, you know, you're on your own. So. Literally every customer in this entire shopping center. So you have Subway, which I hope is closed because they are a food place. But anyway, it's another story. You have the nail salon, which if they do pedicures, they can't do pedicures because they have no water. We count on water. So really, if you do clean, it's going to be with spray bottles and, and that's it. So, so hopefully it will be on. I know the water company we just saw the folks down there and they said it may be on between five and six. They had to get big excavators and actually dig down and that's going to be the majority of the time getting it and then they have to, they know where the water main busted because they were actually doing work down there to their gas pumps or something. So um, that's what caused the whole havoc. And we'll just get you to go to another store and we'll take care of it for you. Yeah, I'm coming. You're coming? Okay, we'll see you in just a few minutes, ma'am. I think I may use the soap. I'm sorry? What about the soap? Uh, I'm having a hard time hearing you over the phone. Um, I said, what about the soap? The soap. Um, when you get there, I'll instruct them to give you some laundry soap for your washer, okay? Okay, I'm coming. All right, thank you. Bye bye. I'm going to do a quarter collection. You know how everybody does a quarter collection? Laundromat videos? All right, here we go. Let's go down through here. I'm carrying my big basket. It's so full of quarters. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, forget about it. I guess I'm just going to do a money collection. Check this out. Forget about quarters. Clear that out, bam. Remove card, clear that out, bam. Remove card, and all I have to do is take these keys, and open the kiosk, and collect the money inside. How simple is that? So all I do is just come in the store, collect, and leave. So I'll just take the money out of here, collection, 
bam, and take put that back in, lock that back up, and then I take the money out of here. And put that back in there. So there you have it. Just do a quick collection. I just come in the store, clear out the machines, I grab and go. It's that simple. No more quarters. I'm so done with quarters. Some challenges that may come with receiving such a large order, approximately 30,000 pounds. Just a couple. Luckily, we have the benefit from having a team. Our team has been coming in early uh, this week because we are on a heat advisory, so we've been allowing them to come in around 5 a.m. and uh, quit um, about 1 o'clock. We do have a couple of team members that volunteered to stay late. We will have a second shift coming in around 7 p.m. tonight, and so they'll work until 2 a.m. And then Veronica and the other first shift staff are gonna come in early again tomorrow around 5 a.m. and work through the day. So fortunately, that is the benefit that we have of um, being able to work around, and we have a great staff, and they're willing to adjust their schedules and help out as need be. As you can see here, we have, uh, we actually just picked up some additional items for the same company. Luckily, uh, the majority of what we have left has not been. We just picked up some additional items from this current client. What we have left that hasn't been delivered yet, um, they're okay with getting it back until Friday or even Monday because they actually are clearing out some storage area space for this to go in. So that worked out to our benefit. So we're not actually under the stress of crunch time. So that was the beautiful thing that worked out. So we're able to still take care of our other daily and weekly pickups as usual. And you'll see we've got uh, some other items going from different customers. We've got some items over here uh, bagged up from different clients. Got some different orders ready to be pulled out and put into the dryer. We've got some orders that were just finished processing here. So we'll get all these dried, prepped and ready to go. So hopefully when the people coming in for a second shift, um, they'll come in, put them through the full techs and be able to stock everything and bag it so that when our first shift comes in, uh, we have one particular girl on the first shift that weighs everything from this particular account so that we make sure we get the correct poundage weight. In this particular order, we have multiple things that we launder for this particular client. Pillows, did I say pillows? Hundreds of pillows. Towels, sheets, blankets, pillowcases, washcloths, hand towels, just multiple, multiple, multiple things. When you're doing commercial laundry, you'll find the thing that is going to take up the most room for you in storage is going to be pillows. For example, you'll see two pillows will take up the room of about six or seven sheets once folded. The space pillows take is far more than the basic linen from towels, sheets, pillowcases, or washcloths. So that's one thing to consider as well. When you're pricing out a contract, you want to make sure of the exact items that you're going to be retrieving from the potential client. What type of uh, business are they? If it's a hotel, do they have a restaurant attached that maybe you can get the items from the restaurant? If, if it's a restaurant, what type of food are they serving? Is it pub food or is it Italian? You know, so you have to consider the different things. What color are the linens? What color are the tablecloths? There's multiple things you have to consider when you're pricing out to give a correct bid for linens. We're coming up midweek. It's hump day. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We will have everything processed, bagged, and ready to be delivered back by Friday. Some exciting news. Monday, we do have our ironer coming. So this area that you see here 
will no longer be an area for processing and folding, so we're going to rearrange everything in accordance to our ironer and our Foltex. So we're really excited. If only, only, only we would have had this ironer even a week ago, this process would have been much more seamless and easier on our employees as well. It hasn't been too bad. The Foltex does help. Uh, the ironer is going to help our process go a lot faster as well in conjunction with the Foltex. And you know the old, old saying, when it rains it pours, most people mean that in a negative connotation. In our case, I mean that in a positive connotation. This is a new order that we've just uh, received and signed a contract on this week. So uh, these are gowns for a clinic. We were blessed enough to receive those items, hoping to get their other locations soon as well. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments also, please list them below. And thank you for watching.